Panthers had a 22 point lead in the half or the first half, you know, saw them cut it down to three. Just uh, just kind of talk about uh, the way you guys were able to stick with it and and not uh, and not let Nevada take a lead ever. Uh, I think we just stayed solid, you know, even when they, you know, we knew they were going to make a run, they're a really good offensive team and you know, we just stuck together and really got good shots and then I think our defense at the end really helped us out and you know, we were able to finish the game. Justin, this was your last chance to to beat Nevada, at least in regular season. So I'm sure that had some motivation for you, <laughs> losing eight in a row. I mean, how much did you feel like you really wanted to get after these guys? Eight in a row to them, not... not yeah, them. yeah. Uh, no, yeah. I mean, for sure. I had never beaten them in my career, any of, the, any of the seniors hadn't. So, yeah, I mean, it was definitely a little extra motivation. And we came out with the right energy and uh, got onto it early, and that helped us for sure. I think George actually did, was on the team as a true freshman. Oh, yeah. George is a little older. <laughs> um, you guys, um, I guess, I mean, great start. Did it have anything to do with the crowd, or you know, did you just have like a determination from the beginning? Uh, I think a little bit of both. You know, we knew we had to come out and play good ball, and but I mean, shout out to the crowd for coming out tonight. You know, that's huge, especially. I mean, when an extra mile gets packed like that, you know, it's a special place to play. And so, I mean, we definitely fed out the crowd and had a good uh, mindset going into the game as well. What do you think? Obviously, you know, Jazz Johnson not playing, but other than that, what do you think was the biggest difference between uh, this and the last time you guys faced these guys? Defense, for sure. I mean, we held them to, I mean, they had 16 points, you know, until that last minute where they got like a couple easy buckets. But yeah, I mean, that was the biggest thing, is just defense. We were, that's what Coach Rice said before the game is like, whoever guards uh, better is going to win the game. And I think that's what we did for the most part. Yeah, with, um, they got it to three or whatever. You had a couple of big back-to-back -back possessions. One was a hand one, and uh, I mean, you kind of flex on there too. I mean, you just, it seemed like you were just kind of enjoying the moment. I mean, um, how much do you appreciate getting the ball in that situation and then you know trying to deliver for your team? Yeah, hundred percent is what you said. Just you know, throwing, throwing yourself into the moment, just having fun. You know, uh, great crowd. You know, good game. You have to wear the black uniforms, look cool. So it was just a you know a cool moment, just really to be be out there with you know my guys and just go out there and compete. Just then you knew. Uh, Tied the record tonight. Um, I, I, more than that, I was, I was curious. Every time you put one up from three, there was like a collective gasp in the uh, in the crowd tonight. Did you did you recognize that? Did you hear him out there? Uh, on the last one, yeah, for sure. Like some dude right behind me was like, "This is the one," and I was like, "Oh," and I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, you could definitely feel it for sure. But I mean, yeah. Will, yeah. that, will that be something you remember maybe more than three, like stuff like that? Or? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean, not to sound selfish, but I really wish I could have gotten it here in front of, you know, amazing fans and stuff. But, uh, you know, I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad we got the win, though, for sure. So, Abu didn't play for a while. The TV broadcast says he has a hit pointer. We don't know. We'll ask Leon. But, you know, when you kind of lose a teammate who was helping you guys do so well in the first half, how do you handle, you know, not necessarily knowing if he's going back out and, and kind of just make up for his absence? Yeah, it's just next man up mentality. You know, I mean, kind of, I mean, we were, that group is used to playing with each other. You know, we didn't play with them for half the year. So, you know, we just, you know, it was just so what, now what? And we knew that, you know, that group was going to finish the game and, you know, we weren't going to have a boo. So we just went out there and just, you know, got the job done. I know there's still a lot of season left, but you guys climbed to a tie for second place in the Mountain West today. Um, I mean, you guys kind of control your, your your destiny from here on out. So, uh, how, I guess, how are, aware are you that you're in the position that you're in at this point? Uh, yeah, we know we're aware, but you know we just got to take it one game at a time. And uh, you know it's a great position to be in, you know, being in the driver's seat, controlling our destiny. So, you know we just got to take it, you know, day by day, you know, game by game.